Hey, I'm Colin Epstein, and you are watching Celeb Secrets TV. And there was multiple things. Uh, when you first get the audition, when I first got the audition, uh, I immediately saw that it was The Fosters, and uh, I had seen a few episodes of the show before, but I hadn't watched a, a big bulk of it. Um, and so it was this interesting thing, and I read the description for the character, and by the way, there was nothing about the whole uh, medical marijuana um, deal with this character in the, in the bio. I only saw, you know, that he's uh, openly gay and proud, um, his mom's a pastor in a church, and his church is very accepting. Um, so that was immediately something that very you know, that drew me to the role. Um, I'm not a very religious person, but I think you know, commonly when we see churches in movies, they're very um, anti-gay, um, very just anti. I guess is, is is the way you could put it. So seeing a church this accepting and this open uh, was really nice. You see it in a different light. That was one of the things that, that drew me to it. And uh, how proud he is. And, uh, you know, little things like his anxiety to deal with, uh, with the little past things to draw from from the character. Um, really, really fun. I, I have a lot of fun playing this character. No, not at all. I mean, I think, to be honest, a my... Uh, Straight kisses are, are so much more uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, my kiss scenes with Hayden are a ton. They're so much fun. I mean, me and Hayden can totally joke about them, and uh, and it's just a lot of fun. I, I have never been worried about any of it. Um, didn't even come across my mind, you know. So so insignificant in the in the big scheme of things. And uh, so getting to do those scenes with Hayden is a lot of fun. Uh, truly, we have a blast. Those are probably the most fun scenes to to shoot. Um, yeah, I love them. They're they're a lot of fun. Well, I think one of the most important reasons is definitely, first of all, there's just not a lot of people or, or shows using their, uh, you know, big mainstream platform to spread messages. Um, I mean, that's so important. With what's going on today and all the hatred and, and other stuff in the world, to have a show like The Fosters, which is covering everything. I mean, that's, that's the amazing part, is that it covers everything and it sends those messages out to people who normally wouldn't see them. Um, it, it's so important nowadays to have shows like, like The Fosters to, uh, to spread those type of messages. I think, you know, I think from watching the show, um, there's definitely a possibility that Jude could be bi. Um, but he also was confused. Um, I think at this point, it's unsure to say whether he's bi or whether he is... Uh, whether he is gay. Um, I would probably say it's safe to assume that he's bi, but it's also safe to assume that he's just, that he's gay and he was confused and he just, he felt wrong uh, about being gay. And so he tried to force this straight relationship. Um, I don't know. I think, I think that's something that maybe we'll find out more about or that's something that the fans can, can uh, talk about themselves. Well, I'm a supporter of, you know, mostly I, I, I donate monthly to the ACLU. Uh, and they fund lawyers uh, to go in and fight civil rights and other stuff. Um, I just believe in fighting for what's right. There's... The problem is, there's just, like I said before, there's just so much hatred in the world. And there's so many little things. I mean, just common use of the word, of, of terrible, terrible derogatory terms that should not be around anymore. I mean, we're in 2016. Yes, I understand using them, and sometimes it gets too PC for people. But it's uncomfortable when people will just throw around these terrible, terrible derogatory terms. Uh, I mean, every so many different words. So many disgusting, harmful, gross words uh, that get thrown around daily. And just little things like that. Like telling people, okay, you know, maybe it's time to stop using that word around me, or just stop using that word in general. Um, I'm just a big supporter of literally everything. Um, I just, yeah, I really just believe to, to do what's right because there's just so much wrong right now in the world. And so it's nice to, it's nice to support things that, that really make you feel, you know, right. People, it's their own personal lives. Let them do what they want to do. I hate people that try to get into other people's lives. It doesn't affect your life. So let people do what they want to do.